Hello, today we are going to talk about our Kaggle Challenge project, Zillow Prize. I, Qing Yun, will introduce in brief the project and clear out our business goals and technical goals. The second part will be had by Liang Dingge, talking about the data sets and the time series. And then Chen Shenwei and Zhang Xuchun will show our data processing in detail. At last, Yu Muling will talk about the prediction model with neural network. So let's begin. Our work is concentrated on Zillow's data set. Zillow is a real estate agent based in USA, whose website page supports a series of functionalities. We will be interested in the last one, Z-estimate. This functionality supplies a wise prediction of your input search criteria. For example, if I type California, it shows me a map pointing all houses located in California with a column besides listing recommended house prices. These prices are predicted by many features like the location, floor, surface, etc. This project is innovated by the Zillow Prize. The goal is to predict the log error. The log error of the prediction is defined by this formula. It is the subtraction of the log Z estimate and the log of real sold price. Our mainly used methods are neural network, time series, and KNN. Now we will we'll precise precise our business goals and technical goals. Our business goals, just, just like I talked about, uh, evaluating the log error with house features, which represents the reliability of the prediction, and also improving the quality of predicting results to help consumers making their decisions. We have also two technical goals. The first one is finding some solutions to deal with missing values in the data set. The second one is def defining an appropriate predicting model. Let's go part two with landing good. Thank you. In this part, I will talk about the data site. Here we use the two CSV files for analyzing. First is the train CSV file. There are three parameters in this data site. The parcel ID is the ID of the house. The log error is calculated by Zillow Zillow website, and the transaction date is when the transaction is due. Second is the property CSV file. There are totally 55 features per property, such as the number of bathrooms, the number of bathroom, etc. We can evaluate the log error by analyzing the useful features. Next, let's have a look at the data type. After our analyze, we found that there are two integer type, parcel ID and the transaction month. One data time type is the transaction date, five object type like fair place flag, and other 53 features are all float type. Next, we want to use time series to visualize the relationship between absolute log, log error and the transaction date. Here, we only use the train CSV file from the overall average log error figure. We could see that the fluctuation of this time series has certain regularity. It is a stationary process, so the time series does not have time-dependent structure. So we only used to study the data site of 2016, and the data in 2017 doesn't influence the final result. So in the later section, we will not consider the influence of time, but other important features. 
For further study, we divided the time series into three components, train, seasonality, and noise, and we draw a figure for each component. From the result, we could see that their fluctuations are regular, and moreover, the seasonality occurs in cycles. This further confirms that the time series is stationary. And now we are going to talk about the data processing. Uh, as we all know, we have a huge database. Hence, we will have a lot of missing values. And our first step is to treat the missing values. We firstly counted all the missing values and made it into a bar chart. And from this bar chart, you can see that we have 57 properties that have missing values, and many of them are actually dual properties. So we think we can use the care nearest neighbors method to fill the missing values for dual properties. But we first need to find the criteria for the neighborhood. As for the other properties, we are going to fill the missing value based on the characteristics or drop them out directly for the duplicate properties and for the properties for which we cannot perform any other method. From the correlation graph, we can see that um, the latitude and the longitude is the cause of the missing value of, of are the other dual properties like region ID zip or region ID counting. And we are going to use the KN method based on the latitude and the longitude to find the nearest neighbor for other dual properties. Here's the list of the main part of dual properties. For each of them, we are going to use the uh, 10 nearest neighbor method based on the latitude and the longitude. And we've used a built model for KN method in Skylar called K neighbors classifier. And the two functions we've used the most is the function feed who feed the provided data and the function predict who will predict the data to fill the missing value. And the result of KN method is pretty good. We can see that we removed 17 properties from this list. And we also checked that there are no dual properties who has a missing value. Now, I will present the risk part of data processing. There are 14 features left. We cannot use dual property to fill the missing value. So, we find three principal methods. The first method is to search the relationship between two features. For example, there are two features, the count of swimming pool and the sum of pool size. We set the count to zero if there is no value, and then fill in missing value of the future, the sum that have a poll with medium poll value. If it doesn't have a poll, poll size sum is zero by default. The second me method is to convert future with complex meaning into simple meaning futures so that we can reasonable fill in missing value. For example, for the count of garage car future, we assume that if null in garage count, it means there are no garage. So we set it to zero. The third method is to drop high percentage missing value future and drop the similar but a huge amount of missing value future. We remove field that have a 
97% missing value. 97% is quite subjective. So, but if we look at our heat map, the variable with more than 97% missing value don't appear to be that important anyway. Hello everyone, I'm Mu Lin. When we have processed the data, we can build the prediction model now. Since our data is sufficient, we decided to use Keras to build a neural network model for learning and prediction. For neural network, the first thing to be clear is that what we want to do is supervise learning and the input is lots of feature and output is the log error that we have predicted. For neural network, we think there are three important parts. The, the first one is the truly sufficient data set, and the second one is the good network structure, and the uh, third one is we should optimize the loss function with a suitable optimization model. And uh, first of all, we have uh, good news is that we have done very good data pre processing to make our data very nice and uh, accurate. For the network uh, structure, we decided to use the uh, full connected network structure and uh, accept the input and the output layers. Uh, we, add, add, we added the file hidden layers. And uh, in order to prevent uh, overfitting, we add drop out observation between each layers. And uh, in order to turn the liner operation into no liner operation and make the deep works, we use the activation function p relu, and then we find our loss function is the predicted uh, log error minus the real log, log error, and uh, for training, we use other optimizer. After our module ha has been built, we assign the in initial to the module and then train it. After 1,500 iteration, we get our final model and uh, we draw a just uh, uh, we draw a curve of our loss function. And from this figure, we can see after 1,000 and uh, 1,500 iteration, the loss curve uh, has been converged and. Uh, the loss value is very small. The train, uh, train result and the test result are very good. And finally, we use our model to predict to make the prediction. And this is uh, some of our results. In conclusion. We went through the whole process. We realized that data processing and the data analyze are the most important for cargo change. Due to a huge amount of future in our data set, we used 18% time to analyze data and do data processing. In our project, we tried several machine learning methods, for example, XGBoost, CatBoost, and Neural Network we find that the results are very close. In order to explain the methods on detail, we choose neural network we are most familiar with. We think that it's the best way to understand this project. After the conclusion, I will show our notebook at the end. All the results and the figures we present are from our notebook. We use time series to analyze the relationship between low error and transaction date. And then we do data processing by using KNN methods and other approaches. That's our heat map among 
every future. We drop high percentage missing value future. Now we are have no missing value anymore. After that, we construct prediction model narrow network. That's our prediction results. That's all. Thank you for your watching.